I am very smart is the subreddit we'll be looking at today, brought to you by our sponsor, the new Sparkle Shorts channel here on YouTube for the best in quality short film, not really a film, content on the internet in YouTube Shorts format. Check it out. It's linked in the description. That's kind of the only way to get there until we are able to get youtube.com slash Sparkle Shorts. And while you're in the description going over there, subbing to the channel, you should check out the like button. It's our other sponsor. It's pretty cool too. Give it a click and it will be very happy about it. Let's start off with number 19. Deb is brilliant. If only they knew the truth. Capital they. Capital truth. It takes a brilliant mind such as capital M. Mine. Shelly says, let's hear it, Deb, please. Reveal to us your wisdom. Well, Shelly, the thing you don't realize is that if Deb shared with you her wisdom, your brain would probably explode. She's just saving you from actually having a medical issue that would take place if this wisdom got passed from Deb into your small mind. Shelly, do you not understand the knowledge that Deb has? How dare you speak down on it? She's just trying to save you. This is a review of a new Portal 2 mod that adds time travel. There were many gems in the reviews, but this one takes the cake. Normally, I would not take anything serious if it claims time as another dimension. However, this game wraps my brain. What? Wraps my brain the same way when I try to imagine geometry in fourth dimension. So I'll give it a pass. What? Your, it wraps your brain? You know what else wraps my brain? This beanie, this upcoming quality content beanie wraps my brain very, very snugly. And it, it can for your brain as well in the future when it's available, so stay tuned for that. But I'm not entirely sure how a game wraps your brain. Maybe that's a saying I'm not familiar with. Maybe this person is just so smart that they know English phrases that I just don't. That's also very possible. But TBH, I don't really understand fourth dimensional geometry i get i get the i get the confusion yep commenter suggests it's impossible not to be admitted to an extremely selective summer program due to their high iq my iq is the top 0.001 percent it's impossible i don't get enough i believe this is stage one of grief which is denial correct uh, <laughs> well it's kind of sad uh i hope that they were able to move past the disappointment of not getting accepted to whatever it is that they applied for, exclusive summer program, whatever it is. You know, you can't get into everything, and I'm sure that another place will appreciate your extremely, incredibly high IQ, and this place, well, they're just, they're not that great if they didn't recognize your value. But if only you all just understood how smart he was. Wish I lacked critical thinking skills. Y'all seem so happy. If I could just not think about the world, and how there are really a lot of bad things in it, then I would be in a much better place because all of you sheeple over there that haven't woken up yet, you just don't realize how terrible everything is. If you realized and thought about how terrible everything is, you wouldn't be able to enjoy your life. Your ignorance allows you to walk around every day as if the world isn't falling apart around you. All right, you need to be upset about it at all waking hours and feel the pain rather than trying to make the most of your life and try to be happy with it. No, wake up, sheeple. A walking thesaurus makes his appearance. A wild thesaurus has just appeared. Indeed, salient, cogent points, <laughs> and a perspicacious explanation. A pleasure to encounter someone on here making it. This sounds like it's going to be a rap. Followed by being conversant enough to be able to cover the proverbial check that they wrote. Most people on here will postulate something to the effect of you can't trust. We ain't going to get political. When I notice the comment, I'll request that they uh, expound, elaborate with credible, verifiable evidence, proof facts. I never hear back from them. Bro, put your thesaurus away with the fort. Bro, if you took out your comfort zone, my sincere apologies. And it was meant as a tacit insult. Don't take offense. But if it were to persist, I might respond in kind. I commend you on your exegesis. I would have thought thank you. It was forth forthcoming. Did I do that right? Great. If your paragraphs sound like you're doing a, a rap or something... Maybe you're taking the big words a little bit too far. This girl is equipped some, with some serious intellectual abilities, guys. PSA, it is ill-advised to ensue superfluous issues with an individual who is equipped with the intellectual ability to depreciate and counter the entirety of the ignorance you have facilitated. Please don't be that person. Oh god, another one. Even if I have the ability to understand, I'm just like tuned out in the first two lines. I'm like, what? It's, why did you have to talk that way? I get that it makes it like, it seems smart to use the 
big words, but sometimes it's just like you don't need to use the big words. We need to stop teaching kids to put fancy words into their papers because if you carry that over into social media and just talking with people in day-to-day -day life, it's unnecessary. The people who are the most successful people I have ever communicated with via email and stuff are the people who care the least about formatting or using fancy words or anything like that because they know they just don't need to care. Just FYI. Granted, it's... You, don't necessarily do that when you're on your way up the ladder, but when you get to the top of the ladder, you don't have to care. Math is a social construct. Yes, math is not a natural blueprint coded into nature. It was invented in 3000 BCE by the Sumerians as a social construct. Our understanding of math varies with our culture and beliefs. Edit. Don't downvote me. Downvote your own ignorance. Okay, I, I'll make sure that when I leave a comment in response to this, I downvote it. Math is like... That's the thing that's like constant throughout all the cultures in the world. You have different languages, different practices, different all, but math, math stays the same. This seems not, not correct. Yeah, I don't know about this one, mate. I, I'm not really smart enough to, but even this one for me, I'm like, I don't think that's correct. You're a science fan. Name five planet ring calculations. They love recolored synthetic pictures of space. This is the extent of their love of science. All that I love Skayance GUIs crowd probably would be confused if I posted my O'Neill cylinder or planet ring calculations of requirements for materials. Parentheses was bored and started calculating the strain materials that would be uh, under these mega structure under in these mega structures and their bare bones versions conclusion steel will do but problem is getting all that mass into space. Did he write the first part of the comment? Then go, I'm gonna hold this, leave the text there on this page. Walked into the other room, went to his table with his compasses and his large piece of equation paper and his chalkboard. And he was like, all right, I just, you know what I'm gonna, while that comment is just marinating over there, I'm gonna do some calculations about launching some stuff into space real quickly. All right, cool. Did some cool calculating there. NASA will be proud when I forward these over to them. All right, now let me just tell people in this comment that I just followed up by deciding to do some calculations here, and um, it was pretty cool. Submit. Fair enough. This was on a post about an astronaut forgetting he's in zero gravity. Pretty stupid, to be honest. When I step out of a swimming pool, I'm not surprised that I no longer float. If I was an astronaut, as soon as I landed, I would be capable of writing my reports and presenting to my superiors, probably lift some weights afterwards as well to counteract the effects Zero-G had on my body. Just FYI, sir, you, um, you can't, you can't lift weights in zero gravity, at least not in a really effective workout fashion. You've got to use elastic bands. You can't, it, well, it's not really going to be much of a workout either. You're going to end up pushing yourself away from the weight. And then you also are dealing with the fact that you might accidentally send a very large piece of mass flying across a multi-billion dollar construction project in outer space and then it bangs into something. So, would be fascinating to experience that though. Like you would be curling a dumbbell and you would ascend, you, your body would be moving like as you, as you go like up, your body would go, you'd be like this while you're curling the, Dumbbell. <laughs> it'd be kind of, it'd be entertaining. Smart fella or fart smella? It took nine months to form your heart. Do not let anyone break it in 15 seconds. Mom. Is this like from mom or is this like what this person's mom told them? Actually, it's around four to 12 weeks. A human heart is formed right after the zygote had extensive parts. Please review your science notes before drama posting. It formed right after the zygote had extensive parts. Yeah, how, it was, so yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, your factory, right? I'm a zygote. I need to place an order for extensive parts. <laughs> I think my heart's about ready to go in. Yeah, can you ship on over a heart out of your extensive parts bin? All right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Just making sure that it's gonna, yeah, parts are gonna arrive, great. Okay, thanks. Guy on Facebook winning because his words are too intellectual for people to understand. Sick and tired of not being able to communicate effectively because I use too many words. I'm gonna have to learn how to simplify my knowledge much better in the future. Simplify your knowledge. You mean simplify how you're writing. I feel like simplifying your knowledge and simplifying your writing are very different things. You don't need to simplify your knowledge. If you know some cool stuff, then that's cool. Why would you need to simplify what you know? How do you simplify what you know? You're gonna think about what you know in whatever way you're gonna know it. 
That's fair. Don't get me wrong, I kind of empathize here. Times that I've been to conventions and then like someone comes up to me and they're like, Hey, I'll watch your videos. I enjoy them. But here's the, and then they ask a question and I start answering the question and then within like 10 seconds, they zoned out and they're like, yeah, that's a longer answer than I, ex they don't say that's a longer answer than they expected, but I can see it on their face. And then I'm like, oh, I went into too much detail. You just wanted to, you just wanted a soundbite. You didn't want to, you want to hear all the everything. You just gotcha. And then I wrap it up real quick and I'm like, well, thanks for watching, I guess. Even plug the autobiography. It's really not that hard to pay for college. Anyone that says it is probably just doesn't actually try. I have a PhD in pharmacology, doctor something something, just in case anyone wanted to read my autobiography. <laughs> it's available for sale on Amazon right now. There's a 30% uh, discount if you use code YouTube comment. And I hope you guys leave a five star review. If you don't though, I'll send you an email um, in the next couple weeks after just making sure that you've left a five-star review, and then I'll give you a discount on my next book. Uh, and it's because I actually applied myself. Student debt is an absolute joke and fabricated by very lazy people. <laughs> hey guys, did you know that if you have student debt, it's actually not real? Um, the companies that hold that debt are just, they've conned you into thinking that you need to pay it, but you don't actually because it's not real. By the way, don't, don't do this. That was a joke. Don't do that. It will not, it's not good when you don't pay, especially student loans, because they survive through bankruptcy. Talking about how laws should be accessible for all. I also agree with this. As an academic, I sometimes struggle reading legal texts. I don't think the law text always needs such complex use of language. Laws in the US are written in plain English. If you can't understand them, ask yourself why. Pretty sure they're written in legalese, which can sometimes lead to confusion for non-lawyers. They're written in plain English. Again, if you can't understand them, ask yourself why did you even go to kindergarten, okay? I'll have you know I graduated kindergarten and then I became a lawyer, and I'm really successful. Bit of a dickish thing to say. Hope that's plain English enough for you. I can't understand why you just, why, I can't understand what you just wrote. It is, it is grammatically and syntactically incoherent. Yeah, all right. Well, guess what, man? If you can't understand SpongeBob memes, then you're missing out on life, Mr. Kindergarten Lawyer Graduate, bro. X-ray vision. I am a thinker by nature, and my X-ray vision can't help but penetrate every matter to its depths, explore it not just mentally or intellectually, but also metaphysically and spiritually. My analogies and observations are unsettling for many dimwits here, so I will stop now, haha. -ha. It's just starting to get into the groove of that rap song, and then it just ended with haha. -ha. Pitbull would probably throw like a ha ha dale into his song, so maybe it, it still works. I like to look at rocks in a spiritual fashion. When I go into the outdoors once a year, I look at those rocks and I'm like, man, you've got quite a spirit in you, rock. You've probably been around many hundreds of times longer than I've been. And what got you to this location in life? What drove you spiritually to arrive at this location in the middle of the road, almost obliterating the underside of my car as I swerve to avoid you? How did you get here? And what journey did you take that made you desire to attempt to obliterate my car? Why would you do this to me? This guy wrote a whole book about how smart he is. Frick you, Target. Just want some shoes. If you're sick of corporations forcing politics of any stripe down your throat, and you are smart enough to know they're patronizing you, then this is the book for you. The Curse of the High IQ. <laughs> By himself. <laughs> I, by himself looks like it was added after the fact. I assume that his name was actually there. But honestly, the way that they did the himself after the fact, it really blends in with the rest of the title. It That might as well be what the book looks like. <laughs> I'm so many standard deviations from the middle of the bell curve. It's rough. I'm so smart that life is pain because no one understands me. I'm gonna write a book about it. This is really next level. I am i can't believe that this isn't, this isn't the top post. There's something better than this. If you're debating me, you're at a severe disadvantage. Successful entrepreneur and CEO, masters. Master is? In, it's okay, it wasn't English. Psychology and genetics, graduate of Harvard, Active member in both Mensa and Freemasons. You'll understand if debating me, you're at a severe disadvantage. 
isn't the point of debating though that like both sides have an even platform in order to argue their points of view I'm, i thought that was the whole idea of of debating so you're saying no matter what your opinion is on something it's going to be the advantageous position also i'm just envisioning the meme where it's like this dude's avatar and you know it's the one where they're at a party and you've got this dude's avatar over in the corner like sipping on something and everybody else dancing and he's you know saying to himself they don't know that i'm in mensa and freemasons i hope you know what meme i'm talking about right now but it really seems like it applies all right anyway that's pretty much it for the last month of i am very smart hopefully we were all smart enough to enjoy this and feel how inferior our brains are in comparison uh, make sure to like if you liked and if you want some mindless entertainment check out the sparkle shorts channel uh, link in the description of the video and also sub to the channel you should totally do that check out the last i am very smart by clicking up here um i also just realized i've used the green screen accidentally here i never do that on this channel so please forgive me oops and the last baron music upload down down below there um pretty cool i'll see you later